Alright, um, I want to do a quick uh, once over on using Text Wrangler for Mac. Um, there are a lot of text options out there. You've got TextMate, you've got BB, uh, BB Edit. Um, text Wrangler is actually from the same company, only it's free. Uh, you've got Dreamweaver out there. My choice when I came to Mac was Text Wrangler. Um, for quite a few reasons. I'm going to go over. Now, I don't, I don't care if the other text editors have what I'm going to talk about. I'm just going to show you how to use Text Wrangler and some of the really cool things about Text Wrangler that I really like. Um, so let's get started. First thing is uh, let's change uh, changing the language that we're in right now. So say we create a new document and I want to type some HTML, right? So HTML head, um, right? And you, you'll you've seen me do this many many times. But you're like, well, why isn't it coloring my 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 text? So you can come down here and you see this drop down box right here. It says none. Drop this up and you can choose your language now. So if I choose HTML, boom, it starts showing me what my what my code is in HTML okay so that's how you change the language let's talk about changing the font style um, so if we go to view text display show fonts or command T to also get here command T I'm gonna be using lots of keyboard shortcuts so just keep that in mind so I can change this text size um, you know if I want my code to be this big I can um, I hope I remember what it was before I think it was 13 so 11 is too small 12. Okay, so 12 is good. Okay, so you can change your font and whatever here. Um, Monaco regular 12 is really nice. I really, really like it, so I kind of keep it there. But you can change your font to whatever you want here. Okay, another thing that actually happens a lot, when you copy code from online, sometimes it doesn't work, and even though everything's right, it still doesn't work. Well, some of the problems is that you copied from Windows over to Mac, and that's because of this language down here. But to see that, actually, you need to go to View, Text Display, um, show invisibles and this will actually show you so this triangle is a tab okay when I make a new tab that triangle comes up and this this little line thing right here that's a carriage return sometimes when you look at these documents there's a bunch of uh, black circles all over the place if you have black circles you have invalid characters and your page will not work so keep that in mind but this is a cool way to check for that um, for those invalid characters so we're gonna go ahead and hide invisibles um, while we're in here um, you see that I have my line numbers in all my videos you don't actually see that here um, to turn that on and off text display um, hide line numbers makes it go away and of course view text display show line numbers make it show up and if you have it turned off you can actually look down here to see what my current line is um, so if I'm you know on this echo line I'm on line 315 and you can see that matches this 315 here okay so that's how you tell what line you're on if you want to jump to a line command J you can jump to a line I want to jump to line 315 boom at line 315 ready command J that's how you do that okay now the next thing uh, we want to look at soft wrap versus hard wrap. It's really difficult to see, but I don't know if you can. There's actually a line right here that goes down the page before that separates this white part from this gray part. What that is is an 80 character row. If I kind of click over here, uh, well, maybe it's set to 100 characters right now. Sometimes uh, you can set it to 80 characters. And what that is is when you program in C, your command line can sometimes only be 80 characters long. And for the most part, I guess that's the smallest monitor someone can have. But a lot of the times, you know, your code may be only this big. And you see I have code going all out of the place. It's like completely off to the side. And I have to scroll all the way over here. Sometimes with really long stuff, i got to scroll really far. And that, that sucks. So what you can do is soft wrap. So you drop this, this T down and click on soft wrap text right there. And now all the code fits in that white rectangle all of it every single thing it, it wraps it to that white rectangle now it may make some of your code difficult to read but sometimes it's really nice to do this especially with large paragraphs and large code chunks so this some, sometimes soft wrap is actually really nice okay um, now there's one thing that I saw other programs have that I knew text wrangler must have had and it actually does have it and that's commenting a whole section of code now you can comment just like well actually this is HTML so you would actually have to do that to comment but if you're in JavaScript or PHP you can just comment out by um, let's pull up some PHP up here you can just comment out by just boom boom okay but if you want to comment out a whole block of text there's a way to do it but not with the keyboard you actually have to go to edit I'm sorry text and un slash comment selection and that actually comments the whole thing so I really really want that to be a um, a keyboard shortcut so let's look at in Mac how to do that so just keep in mind that this is, this is um, 
capital U N slash capital C comments space capital S selection. Keep that in mind. Okay? So we're actually going to system preferences. We're going to go to keyboard and keyboard shortcuts. And now we're going to choose application shortcuts. And we're going to hit new. Now we're going to drop down and go to text wrangler. You can do this with any Mac application. Menu title. This has to be exact. Un slash comment comment uh, selection and the keyboard shortcut I'm gonna do shift command C okay it's gonna be that add and let's just make sure go back to text wrangler go to text and here it is and now you see my keyboard shortcut is now there so if I want to comment this whole block out using my new keyboard shortcut command sorry command shift C boom right there and let's take a look it actually knows what language you're in so here I'm actually in CSS so if I want to if I want to comment this Boom, it actually did it correctly in CSS. Also, let's do HTML. It will know correctly to, boom, put that code in commented HTML. So now I can actually comment whole blocks of code really quickly with that keyboard shortcut. Um, another thing I want to look at is split code view. So see how down here I have HTML, but up there I have PHP? Well, instead of having to go back and forth, you can actually see this gray box right here? You can actually pull that down. And now I've got two independent sections of the same code. So I can go all the way up here and check out, um, check out my beginning PHP up here and still see my HTML down here. Very easy. And then to pull it back, just pull it all the way up till it disappears. Okay? Split code view. Uh, another thing that's very useful is, is function jumping. So if you've got a lot of functions on the page, you can actually click this um, drop down. And I'm sorry, this, this drop down is actually your files, this one right here. This next one is actually the functions that you have. It's really messy right here because this is a, a page with lots of stuff going on. But um, let's actually go to a CSS page only and click this down. See, this, this menu actually shows me all of my CSS declarations. And if I'm actually in something um, that is all functions, it'll actually show me all the functions listed in here. And it actually splits it up for you. So here's my things in my head, here's the things in my JavaScript, these functions, here's my style, here's some more style, and here's some functions down here. So this is how you actually pull up. In Dreamweaver you actually right click to pull up the function list. Here you just click here and here's all your functions right there for you. Okay, so the next thing we're going to look at is using markers. I don't use markers at all, but you might. So if I want to mark a certain spot, so say at this body, I want to know where my body is at all times. I can click here, click this little bookmark thing, hit set marker, and say body tag, and hit set. So now if I'm working down here in the code, and I'm like, oh crap, I need to jump to the body. Click this, click body tag, jumps me right back to the body tag. To clear the markers, drop this down, and clear markers, and choose which one you want, and hit clear. Okay? It's markers. Um, command uh, tabbing and detabbing. This is actually very important. So a lot of my code in 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 all of it, all of my stuff needs to be tabbed correctly. So as you can see, this document needs a lot of tab work. So if I want to tab this in, select the whole section and hit Command and the right square bracket, the closing square bracket. That actually moves the code out, and the left square bracket moves the code in. See how that works? You can comment a whole line of code right there. So again, I can do that and move these move these in, and you know tab and detab that way. Okay, uh, moving between documents, I have at least six or seven documents over here. Um, to move between them, all you really have to do is do command option and square bracket. And you can see that I can move amongst all of my open documents just like that. Okay, very nice. Um, now, finding is actually a huge task. Um, uh, with one minute left, I'm going to try and go through basic finding, and then in the next video, it's going to be more advanced finding. So to do a find, uh, do a quick find, it's command option F, and now you can just start typing, and it'll actually start finding. So type in T-E-X-T, -E it finds me some text. Uh, a little To pull up actually the find menu, it's command F, and now you can actually type in text and hit next with enter. Now command G to actually go through all of them. So I'm just tapping command G, and that error that you saw is actually when it reaches the bottom of the document, and it has wrapped around. Around, okay, that's gonna do it for this video. I'm gonna make one right after this with the rest of these. I got about ten more to go over, so uh, watch that one. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed all that you can do with Text Wrangler.